here on a very remote wilderness pond. I uh, haven't had good luck in here. Uh, trapped it for the first time about three years ago. Caught two big beaver and then nothing after that. Uh, I came out here this past spring and I saw some, some beaver sign but I wasn't able to catch any. I've never found their, their lodge. Actually it might be over there in the, I've never even walked on that side of the, the pond. But uh, so I came out here this year, set uh, two snare poles and a, uh, a body grip trap up there at, at a bank den and uh, came out here and checked them. Both snare poles were chewed off. So then I reset them and uh, my next check I, check I caught one uh, beaver. Nice, uh, maybe about a 40 pounder, not huge. Uh, really, really dark though, extra dark brown. So then I reset those two and added a third one. So I have three snare poles and, uh, and the one body grip crap still. So I'm just gonna pull these today. They've been sitting now for about six days. And uh, it's just, it's a long walk back here through some very thick brush. So uh, the juice just isn't really worth the squeeze on this one. So it's not fun. It's not fun walking back here. And beaver trapping's supposed to be fun, right? So all right, nothing in the, the first two snares. Came here to the third one. Like I said, I'm just pulling these up. And uh, I don't know if you can see it, but the, uh, the wires are wrapped around, around the stick. So that's a, a good sign. All right, snared back here, uh, kind of far back. Hip catch, they call that. So that's why he was so hard to pull out. I was basically folding them in half, dragging them up through all the weeds and junk. But that's uh, about the same size, maybe a little bigger than the last one. And also, extremely dark, almost black. Might be black, we'll have to wait until it's Oh, he's dried out. Actually, we can dry him off right now. All right, so worth the walk back here and the effort. This is a large, might be extra large, black beaver. Money. All right, back out here at this pond where I caught uh, one the other day. I was just in the area, so I decided to check them. It's only been a couple days, but uh, a whole bunch of uh, wolf tracks. I guess they they smelled that beaver out here. And there's some over there. Uh, I can show you, but they're, uh, I mean, they're as big as my hand. These ones here are not as big, but, uh, yeah, we got a lot of wolves around here, northern Wisconsin. Anyway, I just chopped this one out. I think this is the one where I caught the beaver last time. I don't remember. It was one of these two, and then I added the third one over by the dam. But uh, just chopped this one out, and uh, the snares are a little, appear to be a little bit twisted around there. Oh, yeah, I feel some weight on there. A lot of weight, actually. That's a monster. Yeah, that's a really big beaver right there. Might have our might have our 70 pounder. It's a fat guy. Ah, I don't know. Over 60. I'm gonna guess 64 pounds on that one. All right, got two more snares to check. All right, so back out here at this big giant lodge where I got uh, three the other day. And uh, it's just in the area. Check them again, it's only been about three days. Still had five snares here. Brought one extra one. And uh, come up to the check the first one. And I see this. So this, this is a first for me. I'm trying to figure out 
what happened here. I'm guessing that uh, this small beaver, and it is a small one, it's just not a giant one. Uh, I'm guessing he got caught in the snare uh, right after I reset these the other day before it was completely frozen in. He was able to get up on the ice and uh, keep that water open. Meanwhile, some uh, coyotes Yeah, there's a lot of uh, coyote tracks here. So the coyotes came up and uh, I'm sure the beaver jumped back in the hole, but the coyotes just waited for him to pop his head back up for breath air and, or just grab that cable or something and pull them up on the ice. Killed them and had quite a meal. So, Yeah, it's just little teeth. This was just a small rib cage. It was just a kit anyways. I mean, not that that makes it better, but uh, yeah, animals are hungry. When you get, uh, you get over probably two, two and a half feet of snow out there in the woods, it's hard to get around. All right, still here at this giant lodge. Just had that crime scene over there. And uh, so that snare pole has, in two checks, has not been touched at all. So I might have to think about moving that one because the other four have seen activity. And uh, this one here, where I caught the uh, kit the other day, uh, snares are twisted up. And uh, so there's a lot of ice uh, just since the other day. It's been cold as shit down uh, 15, 20 below at night. And uh, just it's been like three days and there's about about five inches of fresh ice over these holes that I just chopped out. So That's an adult looking head. XL right in there 55 yeah close to 60s my guess big old fatty <laughs> 